Good morning, class. Professor Anderson here. Uh, we are talking about lasers and uh, total internal reflection. So I wanted to show you a few different lasers that I have. Uh, lasers these days come in a variety of colors. For instance, this is a red laser. This is a green laser. And this is a blue or violet laser. Now, those laser beams that you saw, you really couldn't see the beam. All you saw was the scattered light once it hits the paper. But what I have in front of me here is a jar filled with water and a little bit of highlighter fluid, and that allows us to see the beam. So, for instance, if I take the red laser and I shine it through this jar of water, what do we see? We see a very nice looking red laser beam. Likewise with the green, even a little bit brighter perhaps, and with the violet, very nice bright beam. So what's going on inside this canister is the laser light is propagating through and it's scattering off all the little particles that are inside the water when that light scatters it comes out to your eye and that forms the tracer the laser beam that you see now this is a very nice demo because we can demonstrate a few things the first thing that we can demonstrate is uh, refraction so when light goes in normally to the surface it keeps going straight through the surface but if light comes in at an angle to that surface it bends here we see the light coming in and bending now, if I look at the light that has left our jar of water, let's see if we can figure out where it goes. All right, so there goes the light in. It's hitting the surface. It's exiting where it hits the white page. Now, as I start to increase the incident angle, we see that spot lowering on the piece of paper. And it's getting close to the level of the water which means the transmitted angle is 90 degrees. And right about here, that spot goes away entirely. There is no transmitted spot anywhere above the surface of the water. It is all totally internally reflected inside the water. Okay? You can do the same thing for the other colors. There is green. Green is exiting the water. And as we increase this angle, that transmitted spot is lowering and lowering, and finally it just hits the edge where it is no longer transmitting. It is all totally internally reflecting. Now, if you look carefully, you might also notice that that reflected beam, the one that stays inside the water, gets very bright once you get to the total internal reflection angle, the critical angle. So watch as I start to increase this incident angle and right about there all of a sudden the green beam got a lot brighter. It is totally staying inside the fluid. Okay, You can do the same thing of course with your blue beam. We're getting a little bit of refraction as it goes in and that's why you get this sort of striation of the in input beam. And then as we increase the angle, it finally is totally internally reflected. Now, since we have all these neat colors, what's kind of fun to do is to turn them all on simultaneously. So here we have red, here we have green, and here we have blue, and now you have RGB for your wonderful laser show. All right, that's it for today. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.